Welcome to Hoffman Engineering. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how you can get access to your EEPROM on your Maker Farm Prusa i3V. The EEPROM, um, it stands for Electronically Erasable Programmable read only Memory, and it's the memory stored on the Arduino where you can store calibrations and things like that. Instead of updating your firmware and flashing the firmware over uh, to store, to change your calibration, say like E steps and things like that, you can set it using the LCD controller and then save it directly from the LCD controller. But first, you do have to enable that feature from your Arduino, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is get the Arduino firmware. So I just went to Maker Farm's website. You go to the build instructions and open up the instructions for the Prusa i3V. So these are right here. You're going to scroll down until you get to the download section um, right after it teaches you how to do all the wiring diagrams. You'll see this uh, i3V firmware download. So you'll click on that, it'll take you to this Google Doc where it has all of the firmware files. So what I did is I clicked up here, I moved it to my own file within my, uh, my docs, my Google Docs, and then I downloaded this zip file. So I downloaded all of these files as a single zip file. So you're going to grab that file, you're going to uh, extract it to a directory of your choosing. So I have mine in Arduino directory. So you're going to enter that, and it's going to be all those files specified. When you originally download it, this is going to be a .pde file, which is the old Arduino file. But the first time you open up all of these, it will change it to the current Arduino file type. So pay no attention to this difference. So you're going to open up this file within your Arduino IDE. You can download that by just Googling Arduino IDE and getting all of that set up. It's very straightforward. You download it and install it. Once that's installed, you can open up your all of these configuration files. And what we're really looking for is just this configuration.h in the background. It's a header file for C++. It'll be configuration.h. So when you open it up, it's going to open up all of these files within your Arduino IDE. You can see up top that you have this configuration.h. So we're going to switch to this tab. We're going to, right here is the configuration files for everything um, for your Prusa i3V. It has everything from end stops. You can set up your end stops, and there's, there's a whole bunch you can do here. But what we're looking for is under additional features, there's this EEPROM section. You can either just control F and search for it or scroll down until you can find it. Originally these will be commented out. And all you have to do is in front of this these define statements, you're just going to remove these comment markers. So that way you will turn on your EEPROM settings and the EEPROM chit chat. So once those have been enabled, you can save the file, you can connect up your Prusa through the USB ports. You want to make sure that the IDE is connected to your Prusa. So you'll go to Tools, you will set the, the board we have in Arduino Mega 2560. So you're going to select that, and when this is connected up, you'll see under your serial ports, um, you'll have to find which one your printer is connected to. For mine, mine was COM3, so you would plug it in, you would select COM3, and then when you're ready to upload these firmware to your Arduino, you'll go, you'll select File, and you'll select File, Upload. So when you click that, it'll compile all of these files together, it'll send it to your Arduino. So there you go. That is how you enable your EEPROM menu for your Prusa i3. This will allow you to change your e-step amounts and all of that stuff under the control menu for the LCD, and then you can save it directly on the LCD. So, thanks for watching.